Well, I, I've been riding my bike a lot. I, I normally do, but over summer, yeah, it's kind of my main form of transportation. But uh, one other thing on these old singles is you do have to set the valves or check them once in a while. And it can be a bit tricky, but you have to do it. Uh, or you risk burning the valve out. Or having a really noisy motor, which has its disadvantages too. If they get too loose, they'll clatter, which tends to mushroom out the valve head and the, or the adjuster on the rocker. And also, it, it can disguise other noises. Um, you know, there might be a, a knocker or a tick in the motor that you miss because your valve train makes too much noise. But at the same time, you don't want them too quiet. It's kind of a, you, you walk that line there, because if they're too quiet, then they're too tight. I like to have just a little bit of click in there. Now, it depends on what cam you're running. Uh, there's different adjustments for different cams. But what I run on this one, well, you could run them four and six, six on the exhaust, four on the intake, but I, I like to run five and seven. And that's what I, and usually I can pull, like say right now I got the feeler gauges in there, and it takes, it's, you gotta make a kind of a uh, customized feeler gauge to get them in there, you know some fancy bending and after you do this a while you get to know what five feels like or what it sounds like uh, you know if it's if it's too much or too little I know that's just right at five and I know you know I've checked it with the gauge but see a little deeper clunk that's a seven five seven <laughs> so I know I got them but it's one of them things you got to check or you risk burning out a valve uh, not something you know modern bikes they got away from that they use uh, the cam runs right over the top of the valve and it's got these shim buckets that hold shims in it. so it's really not a problem but these older ones you have to you have to do that but it ain't that hard you know you got to find a top dead center on the compression stroke, that way you know your cam is in the right position. It isn't trying to to lift either one of them. And you should have a fairly snug cam chain, and then it's just a matter of getting a little bit of wiggle in there. Some bikes are real easy, some bikes are hard. Uh, I know like uh, the big twin Harley 74s had hydraulic lifters. Once they're set, you really never had to touch them. And the Sportster, they had a real simple, <laughs> I got the horse visiting again, and he's not going to be real helpful on this. They had a real simple free roll system, as long as the push rod could roll freely, they were fine. That was a nice setup. You could check them very easily. But I'm in business now. Just going to button her up before the horse starts taking parts. Yeah, you're real handy. Nothing like having a big snout.